Hey, this is PB, and I want to give you a quick recap of our message from this Sunday. This Sunday, we continued in our series, Your Life, Your Work, and Your Calling, and we looked at a very unique subject. We looked at the power of prudence. Now, prudence is not really a word that we use very often, but it really just describes being wise in the decisions uh, that we make for the circumstances in our lives. As we looked at this message, uh, we looked at a, a parable that Jesus tells in Luke chapter 16 that's a little bit unusual because Jesus is using a wicked man as an example of how we as believers should live our lives. Uh, the Bible in this parable calls this uh, particular servant a shrewd servant who was basically fired uh, from his job uh, but devised a plan so that he would have friends, he would have people that would be able uh, to support him uh, once he lost his job. Now Jesus shows us in this example, not that we should emulate what this particular uh, manager does, um, but we should learn the principle uh, that as believers, we've been called to be stewards. That stewardship is really our calling. That everything we do in our lives, that we are stewards over not only our possessions, uh, not only our time, but we're stewards over ourselves. And everything that we should do with our lives should be uh, to glorify God. And not only that, but uh, what we do with the things that God has blessed us with, we should do it to benefit other people. So often we all, we're often thinking about uh, how can I benefit myself? How can I gain more, make more, do more? But friends, God has blessed us and we are to use those things that we have to bless others. That is how uh, we grow. That is how we gain more. Um, the scripture is true that when you give, God gives back to you, pressed down, shaking together and overflowing in your lap. And the third thing that we looked at uh, in this series is being a faithful steward. Um, that favor is found in faithfulness. Jesus says that basically that if uh, you're untrustworthy or unfaithful with what God has already given you, how can you be trusted with more? So friends, the question that uh, we ask in this series is, and in this message is, can God trust you? Can God trust you with the possessions, with the people uh, that he's put in your life? Can God trust you even with caring for your own self? And friends, if God can trust you, and if we are faithful, we will find favor and God will bless us with more. So great message. If you want to uh, hear the message in its entirety, go to our YouTube page. You can find it there, The Power of Prudence. I promise you, if you learn this lesson of prudence and stewardship, your life will be blessed tremendously. So uh, we'll see you next time for our next sermon recap. Be blessed.